he died on a Thursday. Not that anyone outside of these walls noticed. Stephen Ryman, homeless, Vietnam veteran, a man so anonymous, the only photo we could find came off his driver's license. I've been in office since 2009. The county coroner, Connie Jacobson, took him in and immediately started asking who. In Stephen's case, that was a challenge. Who needed to know? And yet, in the least populated state in the country, where everyone seems to know everyone else, no one seemed to know him. And so Jacobson, the daughter of a World War II veteran, it's uh, very humbling, decided to do what she knew she needed to do. Stephen deserves nothing less. Word gets around Wyoming faster than the wind that scrapes its land. Still, there was no way to know. Flagged over by the car. Just how far the word. There's Howard. Might spread. He'll be here in about 10 minutes. The Patriot Guard said yes early. The fire department committed a truck not long after. Thank Good. you guys for coming out. A blessing, really. We'll be going inside when the service starts. The goal? Maybe a dozen people or so. And? Send them off right, Connie thought. He deserves nothing less than that. We'll go ahead and get set up here. And had that been it, it would have been enough. Yeah, here they come. But enough wouldn't do. Not now, not here. And so by the time the day rolled around and the procession rolled up. The community is truly a community. It really is. A mile's worth of strangers crammed its way into the cemetery's lot. Oh, death, where is your victory? Oh, death, where is your sting? Stephen Ryman struggled in life and died at the age of 63. We know that for many years he led a solitary life. 63 years. A lot to never know his life would one day look around, lead to this. I want you to look around and see that there is a community of people who love and support and care about you. A chapel so full the concept of standing room only extended well outside of the room. Even the nurses who cared for him in his final hours were in there somewhere, filling the inside with outsiders to Ryman's life. Outsiders save one. This is so much more than I ever imagined. Sitting in the front row, Golly. Ryman's sister Diane. So much. Seems the word of this service eventually made its way to her home in California as well. She was able to be here, which was a godsend. This is just amazing, amazing, and I'm so grateful to everybody. She hadn't heard from him in years, had no idea where he was until now. A special place in my heart goes to a the nurses from the ICU who came to this service to tell me that they were with him when he died. I'm a nurse myself, and um, it just meant so much to me that they would take the time to do that. A sailor, a brother, and a man who died on a Thursday in obscurity. You know, I've always said that just because someone dies doesn't mean I stop taking care of them. Leave it to a coroner to conclude the value of a life. I'm just overwhelmed. Extends far beyond the moment of death. It was a good day with Diane. It was good for both of us. In Casper, Wyoming, Chris Vanderveen, Nine News.